Right, so now we want to build the header. So let's go in our code and close this app folder over here. And in the top directory, I'm going to create a new co folder called components. And this is where all of our components are going to live. So the first component we're going to build is a header and we need to create a folder for that. So in header, let's create a new file called index.tsx like so. And we want to do RAFCE, which is our React functional snippets. So let's create the header like that. And in here, we have three sections. So the first section is the logo itself. Then we have the middle section, which is just links to any random page that we want, but we're not going to build that. And then we also have the link to the login page, which sends us to the login page. So if we click back on home, you can see here, so we have three sections. So let's go ahead and build them out. First of all, what I want to do is just bring in the navigation itself, which is essentially the middle section. Let me just copy this and bring it in and we just paste it at the top over here. And what we also want to do is create a new folder for our types because we're using TypeScript. Or what we can do is for now, let's delete that and let TypeScript infer it itself. As you can see here, it infers the type for us. But what we want to do is we want to be strict and set a specific type for this. So let's, first of all, in our header folder here, let's create a new file. And this is called types.ts in here. And essentially what we want to do is create the navigation type. So let's paste this in, which is essentially the name, href and ID. And then we give in the types for that. So now what we can do is essentially this is an array of this object, which is essentially the string, string and number value. So let's control space and import this in like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, because this is an array, we want to map over it and render out each individual link. Uh, so we'll do that as well. So first of all, because this is a header, we want to use semantic HTML. So this is a header tag like so. And then in here, we want to have a nav tag. So in na the nav tag now, this is where we will handle all of our content for the header. So first of all, I'm go I've got three sections. So the first section is going to be the logo. So let's map that out. Then we have the middle links and then we have the login link itself. So this is how you would map everything out. And then what we want to do is the logo itself is essentially a div. So let's create a div for this. And in this div, this is going to be a link because we want to click the logo and then navigate to the homepage. So let me do a link tag from Next.js like that, which is next link. And let's just use GitHub Copilot. And you can see here, it's suggesting everything we need to do in our link tag. So let me just save that for now. Because we're using Next.js, we should have an optimized image in here. So what we'll do is use the next image tag. As you can see, this is coming from next image and this will receive some props. So we also need to define a width and height for this. So let me give this image a width of 80 and also a height of 80 like so because what we're doing is we're using the next image which will is an image component is used to optimize images and this is necessary we may run into some issues if we're using external links there therefore we need to update the next config.mjs file over here but let's just do that for now and then let's just check our browser let's see what's going on so in here let me just refresh the page nothing has happened because we also need to import this component into our page.tsx file so let's just do that for now and in our app folder in here in page where main is let's just do above it paste in the header component in here like so and then this is showing an error saying we can only have one element so we need to basically wrap it in react fragments like this and then we do control spacebar and input that in so now let me just save everything again and all you need to do is now it says invalid link with a child so we need to remove that that's legacy behavior so that's where github copilot let me down but it's, it's fine we can just carry on so let me just delete them and it's quite good to use github copilot but again you need to know what you're doing as well and you may run into issues or occurrences where that happens because we're using up-to-date next.js framework things like that are not up to date so it's just a case of knowing what you're doing as well and looking at documentation so in here now you can see in the corner there's an image so that's good 
we're not linking to an image because we don't have any. So what we need to do is I'm going to bring in my images. So I have four images, which is basically the logos, and I'm going to put them in the public folder like that. And essentially, we just need to import them in. So for now, I'm going to hard link this, but essentially what will happen is because we have a theme object that will determine what logo we have based on the environment variable. So we'll just keep it simple for now. I'm just going to do logo imported in here and let's just import in the Bowlers Boutique logo from the public folder. So import logo from at public slash and then we will do the sslogo.png. So sslogo.png like that. And let's just check that works. And now you can see that works. That's working correctly. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure we have some styling. So let me just first of all style the nav out. And actually what I'm going to do is just copy it and bring that in. And if you're not sure on Tailwind itself, make sure you check out my crash course on Tailwind. I've explained all of these concepts in detail on the Tailwind crash course. So go ahead and check that out. So now let me just save that. And then I also want to style out the logo itself. So let me just paste in the styling in here and that should be fine for now. So let's go ahead and check what's happened. You can see now the logo has got a bit of space in there, which is a good thing. So now let's go ahead and do the links and with the links is basically we're just mapping over everything. So I'll just bring in the code to save a bit of time and paste that in. So we have the navigation in here, which is an array and we're mapping over it. And each item we want to render an A tag. It has a key because we're mapping over it. And then each key is going to have a href. In our case, it's just a hash like that. But if you were linking to another page, then you would put in the relevant link in there and then we also have the class name and then we're basically rendering the item dot name which is apparel footwear accessories brand and sale like that and then finally we have the login so i'm just going to bring that in as well which essentially is just a link like we did before with the login page there so let me just save this all and this bit here is basically the arrow that points across so let me just Save that and now you can see we have a header in here which is all working correctly. If you hover over it, you can see in the bottom corner it says local or slash and then the, the relevant link in there. And then if I click this one, we should go to login. And you can see here, Next.js has its default own 404 page. So whilst we're on that topic, what I'm going to do is show you how to build your own 404 page and we'll do that next.